what is going on guys it is rigor mortis and we are back with yet another video today and today i have something special for you all we finally just got news finally 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 that lucid motors is going to go public via a spac merger deal with cap churchill capital corp 4 otherwise known as cciv we have been anticipating this news for quite some time now what i'm going to do is i'm going to go through this article with you guys today give you guys my thoughts and we'll go through the stock price and see how all of that played out once this thing was announced if you're new around here please go ahead and subscribe and join the family a like is always appreciated comment down below if you're in cciv Anyway, Lucid Motors to go public in merger with Churchill Capital Corp 4, bolstering Lucid's vision to redefine luxury, performance, and efficiency in the sustainable electric vehicle market. If you guys don't know what Lucid Motors is, it's an electrical vehicle, it's an EV company, but it specializes in the uh, luxury aspect of the electric vehicles, which makes it a quite, quite an interesting EV maker. Lucid's mission is to inspire the adaptation of sustainable transportation by creating the most captivating luxury electric vehicles centered around the human experience. The transaction provides additional growth capital as Lucid brings the over 500 mile range Lucid Air luxury electric sedan to market and expands the rapid and expands rapidly to offer broad range of electric vehicle products powered by Lucid, Lucid's proprietary electric powertrain technology. If you guys haven't watched my video on Lucid Motors, this is a company that I really like. I think they have a very special place in the EV market. That being said, we've just been anticipating this for so long, so the price has been kind of crazy, which we'll talk about here today. Next point, CCIV and Lucid are combining at a transaction equity value of $11.75 billion. Guys, this is a company that hasn't produced not one vehicle yet, and that valuation or valuation is $11.75 billion. Just keep that in mind. The transaction includes an approximate, approximately $2.1 billion in cash contri contribution by CCIV and $2.5 billion fully committed pipe with an investor lockup provision that binds holders well beyond closing. The pipe is priced at $15 per share with an implied pro forma equity value of $24 billion. Pipe investment anchored by public investment funds uh, as well as funds and accounts managed by BlackRock, Fidelity Management and Research LLC, Franklin T Templeton and a couple others there that we'll just uh, skip over there. The transaction includes the largest ever SPAC related common stock pipe and it just gives you a little bit of information. We'll continue seeing that uh, Peter uh, Rawlinson will be the CEO and CTO. And it also tells you that Lucid currently employs nearly 2,000 people with 3,000 employees expected to be added in the U.S. domestically by the end of 2022. Now, the plan for Lucid Motors is to get their car out by the end of this year, hopefully, is whenever they'll start rolling it out. So this is a very interesting company please if you haven't seen my video on it before please go back and look at that one because i give you guys a little bit more information about what lucid as a as a company but here we're just trying to talk about this merger agreement that finally happened and my thoughts about it so if we look at the spec right now this thing obviously was sitting you know pretty high at around 60 dollars and then as soon as the agreement came out this thing fell to 43 dollars so we had in after hours a fall of about 25 percent it's recovering a little bit now it's sitting at around 47 dollars so you know this was kind of expected guys i mean lucid is a great company but this stock was very 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 hyped up with everything going on and so and the ev boom and the spec boom these days and everything that's going on this stock was really really priced high and in my opinion a little overbought so we did see a dip here but did we see enough of a dip for me personally i'm still not convinced enough to buy in i think between now and the merger the actual merger date we might see some volatility now what does that mean for all of you guys and for me as well for me what i'm going to be doing is i'm going to look for a point of entry like i always said i do like lucid motors i just think that this spec is just ridiculous right now sitting at 60 dollars a share but or sitting at 47 dollars a share i should say but that being said i do want to enter into this stock so what i'll be doing is i'll be watching this one extremely closely over the next couple of days to weeks to months until the merger is actually gone through because this is not a stock that i want to miss out on by any means this is going to be you know people are throwing names out there like tesla so you know we have potential there i'm not comparing them to tesla but i'm saying the potential is there for these guys so i do want to take a closer look at this stock obviously i want to make sure i keep my eye on it and find a good point of entry because you know come 10 years down the road 15 years down the road 20 years down the road this one might be a real game changer for me personally i don't want to look back and see this missed opportunity i mean 
thinking about Tesla, for example, if I had an opportunity to buy Tesla at sixty dollars a share, that would be absolutely insane. So, you know, this this might be one of those opportunities, but I just want you guys to keep a close eye on it. Obviously, this is not financial advice. I'm just trying to put you guys on plays that I am into. Please let me know in the comment section below whether or not you are going to buy CCIV if you're already in it, if you're planning on selling, what's going on, what are your thoughts. Please like this video so we can get it out to more people and subscribe if you're new around here. I'd really appreciate it. This one's going to be an interesting one, guys. We were so hyped up and waiting for this merger. It finally happened, and now we get to analyze this stock for really what it is, and we're going to see exactly where it ends up. Please comment down below what you guys think. I'm really interested in this one. We'll see how it goes. Peace out, folks.